G'day and welcome back. So this is a bit of a in-between video really. I'm halfway through doing the camshafts, started that a couple of weeks ago and ran into a problem. So we're just going to see if we can overcome the problem. So the problem was when it came to taking this end bolt out of the camshaft, the one that holds the sprocket on, I couldn't get that undone. I couldn't get that undone with my 500mm breaker bar plus a big bit of pipe. Yanking on that as hard as I can, all I ended up doing was rounding the nut, the nut, the bolt. So yeah, that didn't work. So what I did was I took took this down to the, my friendly machine shop and they ended up having to try and heat it up and the bolt was still stuck and in heating it up they've also kind of destroyed this camshaft sensor that it's a hall effect sensor that sits on this camshaft here uh, so this is what the bolt should look like this is the brand new one there's nothing overly special there shouldn't be any loctite on that it's only um, tightened to a, an oil torque well, an oil torque of 100 newton meters so this shouldn't have been a problem uh, so what options have we got now? Well, <clears throat> I could get a new sprocket, which I may well end up having to do. A uh, new sprocket is $130 plus tax and they're uh, ex-Germany, so it's three weeks away to come here for the Volkswagen dealer. Plus then I also need a new hall position sensor. These are pretty cheap, these are like 40 bucks or something like that. Uh, but it's more this, this sprocket. There's nothing really wrong with the sprocket. And for $130 I might as well try and get this off. So they started drilling this super hard bolt. Um, thought, oh, time to give up and give it to me so we can see what we can do. So we'll see if we can drill the top off this bolt. It's got a, a big kind of flangey bit. It's like a 10mm M10 thread there so if we whiz off the top Hopefully we'll stay clear of the, the sprocket and we can separate it. If not, we've got to order $200 worth of parts, which best avoided. So I thought I'd bring you along, see how we get on with getting this out. Uh, so there's some numbers on the end of the bolt. What does it say? FAF 8.8 .8. relates to the hardness. So if any of you know what that means, I think it means it's... Uh, Mohammed, Ahmad, Bruce Lee kind of bolt. It's not going to shift for anything, but we'll give it a go. We're going to give it a drill. Stick it in the vise here. Right, camshafts. We're not putting this camshaft back in that car anyway, so camshaft is essentially scrap. I would have liked to have kept it for a spare, but yeah, it's, it's scrap now. Don't know why you need a spare camshaft. But anyway, so we'll get you set up uh, for the drilling. I'm even going to wear safety specs, look at that. Just because, and we'll um, hit it with a big drill. This drill sounds great, eh, after. What did I use it for last time? That's done approximately not a lot.
Gotta be drilled. Uh, what are the options, eh? So we could try and weld a nut on there. I right, know I'm sure our friend Terry the Texas Viking will be rolling his eyes watching this, but I'm gonna give it a go, see what happens. Don't have a lot to lose. We have something to gain, so we've got a whatever size nut that is. Hold it on there, fill it up with weld, and the heat will do something. And the, having a big nut on there will do something. And at the end of it, we'll end up with a bit of scrap metal. That'd be awesome.
Well, I've got some heat into it anyway. Oh, yeah, we melted off the nut. <laughs> Whilst it's hot, I suppose we'll give it a, a wrap with the, the impact. Watch the nut fly off. Yeah, watch the nut fly off. That could be a better nut. Try that big lighter. Second attempt, probably not, not much better than the first, but... Slow down the wire speed, which seems to be helping a fair bit. It's all about the penetration. Definitely some heat into it now. Turns out I can't do anything left handed. That'll do. If this doesn't work, we're on to new sprocket time. Just have to give that about a week to cool down. WD in there, in there just so we can get a good tote. That's a quality bit of welding. Fudger. A bolt's a wee bit tough. It's looking like a new sprocket time. I think I'm just going to give up there, uh, buy a new part. 
It's like the unshiftable nut. Doesn't help I can't weld. Doesn't help I rounded it in the first place. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna have to get a new one, um, especially after doing a fair bit of heat through that sprocket now. So I probably shouldn't put it back on the engine. Oh well, it's only money, I suppose. But yeah, I'm gonna go inside and uh, drink beer about it until uh, all my sorrows are gone, and that'll be that. So yeah, so now we've kind of got to wait a couple of weeks. So I'll have a look at some of my other supplies. See if we can beat three weeks. But that was a good price, it turns out. Uh, New Zealand price was $130 plus GST at 15%. <clears throat> it cost, and it was like 138 US dollars from URO tuning. So New Zealand dollars very different to US dollars. So yeah, it's pretty good. I suppose, good value for a chunk of metal, I suppose. Buying it here, uh, but you know. Have a chat to some of my other suppliers, see what we can do. But um, yeah, I guess we'll be waiting a couple of weeks to finish the engine and stick it back in the car. Sorry about that. Um, unless you got any any tips, we got got some time to think about it. But uh, yeah, I don't think that sprocket's going back on the new car well, on the new engine anyway, because uh, it's a wee bit munted. Well, no, it's probably perfectly fine, but. I don't trust it, so we'll get a new one, we'll go from there, that'll be that. Thanks for watching. Another failure here, but oh well. What can you do? Cheers!